Hello everybody, my name is Matt Shazda. Welcome to MrBarleyCorn.com, where we believe in strong drink, lively debate, and superior firepower. Uh, what I'm going to do today is give a review of one of my favorite whiskeys, a 10-year-old Glen Morangi Single Malt Highland Scotch Whiskey. Uh, before I do, I want to talk a little bit about scoring and, and reviewing whiskeys in general. There's a million different ways to score whiskeys. I've seen 100 point scores, I've seen three point scores, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, it's all very, very subjective. What I will use is a 25 point scale. And um, if you want to read some more about that, you can go to my blog at mrbarleycorn.com. So before we get into the whiskey itself, let me tell you a little bit about the distillery. Glenbrangi is a uh, interesting little distillery. Up until recently, it was a single brand, meaning that the company owned only the Glenbrangi label. They recently bought Ardbeg, I believe, and uh, hopefully they'll have some more success. This is a quality product, and I'd like to see them put out some more, more labels and a little bit more variety. So, uh, one of the things that sets Glenbrangi apart are their stills. Their stills are supposedly the tallest stills in Scotland. So what does that mean to you as a drinker? It means you're going to get a, a richer, lighter flavor for the whiskey. So it, when it comes out, it comes out as a very, very light, fruity flavor. Uh, additionally, Glenrangi probably is uh, more particular about their oak casts than anybody else. Their oak casts all come from America. The trees that they use are all hand selected. I believe they only grow on north facing hillsides and the reason they do that is because they want a very specific consistent density to the oak so that it'll impart a very consistent flavor to the whiskey. Personally I'd say they've been pretty successful. It seems to be working for them. So what about the whiskey itself? As I said this is one of my favorites. I think this is an excellent whiskey to introduce people to. If they're not familiar with scotch, it's not overbearing. It doesn't have a lot of peaty taste or smell to it. And it's very, very complex and just very flavorful. So again, I think this is a great introductory whiskey for somebody new to scotch. Um, let's see, I will upgrade things on the nose, the palate, the finish, and then I kind of wrap it up with a overall experience. The, the nose on this whiskey is very fruity, a touch of citrus, honey, uh, vanilla. I kind of picked up a little bit of salt to it, and as you let it sit, it gets a little bit woodier. You can kind of taste the oak a little bit more the longer it sits. Very, very uh, pleasing, though. I gave it a, a 4 out of 5 for the nose. The palate has a taste uh, pretty much the same. Fruity, a little bit of grass and hay to it. Uh, just a very, very little bit of peat if you're looking for it, but it's not overwhelming like some of the Islay whiskeys are. Uh, very, very easy taste and very, very flavorful. I enjoy it. It's a, it's a nice kind of after dinner whiskey when you're just kicking back and relaxing. Uh, the finish, very smooth. You kind of get a slight burn that lasts for a little bit of time, but it's, again, it's not overwhelming like some whiskeys will just kind of burn your throat for, feels like hours and days afterwards. You won't get that with the Glen Morangi. Um, overall, I really enjoy drinking this whiskey. It's a very great overall experience, and I give it a seven out of 10 in that regard. So adding everything up, what I come up with this whiskey is a score of 18 out of 25, which is a great solid whiskey, especially for one that's as reasonably priced as this. You can get Glen Morangi 10 year old for about $50, give or take, depending on where you get it. Uh, every once in a while you might see it on sale for around the $30 mark. If you do, snatch it up. Um, that's pretty much it. I think it's a great solid whiskey all the way around. You can't go wrong with a 10-year-old Glen Morangi. So go out, buy a couple, and share it with your friends. That's it for this post. Thank you, and be sure to check out MrBarleyCorn.com. Bye-bye.